asking you about these gold bags and you're from yes. Colorado and do you guys actually trade those out there? Hello Silver fans, this is T and you're in the place to be for silver education, acquisition, and entertainment. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Hey, this week for Mrs. T and me, our travels took us to the St. Charles Convention Center just outside of St. Louis. We were there for the Missouri Numismatic Society coin show and i'll tell you what it didn't disappoint awesome show if you enjoy coin show videos be sure to subscribe i make a bunch of them and if you enjoyed the effort and the content be sure to like and if you want to see more hit that bell notification okay david from colorado here at the coin show and I was looking in your uh, cases here and I see a lot of absolutely beautiful gold. And uh, tell me a little bit about this gold. You started to tell me that you um, so refine it yourself? We're a recycler and processor. So what we do is we take scrap gold mm -hmm. we, and silver and we purify it and turn it into our 10th ounce gold coins, okay. our silver bars, Okay. and other uh, things such as jewelers and jeweler supplies. So we work with mines, mining equipment, mining companies. We work with jewelers, we work with coin shops, and other people that just scrap gold and find it by opportunity, metal detectorists. And we can take trash and turn it into treasure, which uh -huh. is nice. So anything that is of a uh, non-standard gold, you know, like people have found stuff in a parking lot. You know, mm -hmm. some people at this show found some miscellaneous jewelry in a parking lot that was smashed. So mm -hmm. that's gonna get recycled and become yeah. one of our coins. Um, and then of course, you know, any silver, we do the same thing over here. We manufacture silver bars uh, and in different sizes, different designs, which are a lot of fun. Uh -huh. And then, uh, you know, recycle uh, silver as well. So old silverware sets, uh -huh. uh, scrap coin, things like that, we turn into pure and then remanufacture into uh, custom silver bars. And That's gotta be a fascinating process. It's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> I it's bet, a lot of work. I bet. So, it, you do the silver pouring yourself? Or? Yeah, we do all the refining and processing ourselves. So what okay. we'll do is we'll take the scrap, we'll melt it into a homogenous bar. Uh -huh. We will x-ray it with an x-ray spectrometer, figure out the exact purity of what's in there. Okay. And then we'll write the client a check. Wow. And then, or we can figure out how much silver they're due back. I see. And with that, we can then uh, determine how much silver you're getting back, how much gold you're getting back, mm -hmm. and mint it into coin or silver bar. So okay. we offer the service for a lot of people. Okay. And then they just get bags of silver back. It's something that's easy to sell and store and understand, uh -huh. as opposed to like silverware. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But you know, silverware or, or other scrap. Bag full of uh, scrap not silver. Easy to figure out what's there. But sure. The bars and the coins are a great way to do it. Okay. Well, since you have the real stuff here, and I'll tell you what this. This right here, that nugget is amazing. It's fascinating. But I, I was asking you about these gold bags and you're yes. from Colorado and do you guys actually trade those out there? Is that is correct. So okay. the gold bag's a very fascinating monetary instrument. It is, you know, the singles are a thousandth of a troy ounce of gold. Uh -huh. And when you x-ray and assay them, they uh -huh. actually do come out gold. Uh -huh. So we'll put the x-ray right now on there. We'll turn it on. Okay. And as you see, pure gold. Yeah. Now, what they do is they make these absolutely perfect. On assay, they come out perfect because uh -huh. when they, they use computer vapor deposition technologies. The yeah. same they use on computer chips to deposit a fine layer of gold down on mylar, mm -hmm. and they put another coating of mylar on top. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it keeps it from getting worn away. Yes. So it's gold you can put in your pocket, you can uh -huh. spend it. I give these out as tips, I use them as change, we use them as spending money. In, in um, Indiana, we don't use them. They're, they're coming you, around, and you know, like I've, I've been abusing one just to see how it holds up. Uh -huh. Where I've folded it multiple times, I've treated it like, you know, just garbage. But when you hear it, you hear that metallic clank to it. Yeah. Huh. And uh, which is amazing, you know. So it's a fine sheet of gold foil, and interestingly enough, the more scratches you get on it, the easier it is to actually see the relief on there. Huh. Uh, but this one's been in my pocket, uh, being heavily abused with coins, change, pocket knives, tools um, for the last four months, mm -hmm. and uh, it's doing okay. And, and of course, the folds I put in there on purpose, uh, to, like really fold multiple times to yeah. see what happens. And of course, Goldback will exchange these out. So if you send them a worn out one, they'll send you a new one back. Okay. Uh, Do you accept good. those as payment? Absolutely. So okay. I, you're the first person I've there, ever met that accepts 
out there, the nice thing about these is if somebody out there offers you to pay you for a service industry or a product in gold, uh -huh. it's not a taxable transaction. It keeps uh -huh. the government out of your business. Wow. And you know, you're accepting gold no matter what happens. So if USA goes away, this still contains uh -huh. a tenth of an ounce or a hundredth of an ounce, a thousandth of an ounce of gold. Okay. So every hundred of these has a tenth of an ounce and every thousand of these has a full ounce. Okay. So when you can stack gold for your labors or wares that you're selling, it makes sense, or yeah. if you're giving change for it. So we give them out as tips all the time. Uh, people mm -hmm. work at restaurants and yeah. other things for services. Uh -huh. uh, we also um, uh, accept them. You know, we've given them at, at small businesses. Okay. We just talked to a guy. They're going to be giving 10,000 of them to their employees at McDonald's wow. in the Chicago area. Really? Which is pretty fascinating. That's, that's That meeting's happening here in a couple hours okay. uh, for another business, not me. Okay. But that's pretty cool. So the more education and more people are out there, if somebody leaves one of these as a tip, it's like, hell yeah, that's awesome. You know, like uh -huh. they actually got gold. And people get so happy when they get these. And I give them a little bit of cash, Never too. thought of that. But each one of these is basically right now a $4 bill on okay. the exchange rate. So, you know, sometimes they trade for 420 sometimes it's 380 depending on what the gold price is right mm -hmm. now. So they trade above the number, but they have the multiple denominations, too. So there's fives, there's tens, there's 25s, there's 50s. You know, so like the fives, they obviously have more gold in them. So they're one two hundredth of an ounce of gold because there's five times as much gold. Sure. And notice they're also a little bigger because yeah. in order to fit the gold on there, they had to make them larger. The tens are even larger beyond that. And okay. the 50s are actually pretty big. But uh, so, so you think things uh, are going to go around the nation then they and have expand? Been popular. They're popular in the West and places yeah. that are accepted. Yeah. Um, Wherever there's no tax on gold and silver, mm -hmm. they're legal tender. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, there's some states that tax gold and silver, and they probably won't catch on there. Ah. So unfortunately, that's going to be a lot of the blue states. Yeah. You know, but people will still trade them, but they'll probably never have an official recognition. Got it. Um, but that may change. We hope that it does. Yeah. Uh, because it's just a cool concept to be able to spend gold. Because, you know, we've made these little 20th ounce silvers and these 10th mm -hmm. ounce gold coins, yeah. and they're great, mm -hmm. but it's easy to lose. This sure. is a lot harder to lose a small transaction of gold. Right. Um, and of course, course, you know, when you want to stack bullion, you stack bullion. But as far as the small, everyday exchangeable, it mm -hmm. works. Well, I'm from Indiana. We're a red state. Maybe we'll have them someday. Hopefully soon. You know, we're trying and you know, they, they made sure to do things that they won't get them in trouble. Mm -hmm. So they're not trying to mimic U.S. notes. So it's right. not counterfeiting. Uh, they made them to be completely against the way normal U.S. notes are. So mm -hmm. they do them up and down as opposed to sideways. I they see. only put women on them because there's no mistaking it because the government won't put women on paper. Uh -huh. um, and then, uh, you know, they make sure that, you know, they're, they're one-sided so you can actually see the crystalline effect of the gold. That's what mm -hmm. that is. Mm -hmm. You can't fake that. Right. You can't fake that. And then, of course, you know, the Mylar coating on there. Mm -hmm. And, of course, anybody with an X-ray or anybody that's seen one can test one of these immediately. Sure. And you get that gold. So all right. with all these things into consideration, it's a good way, in my opinion, to stack gold and also to spend and spread the word uh -huh. and, you know, sort of use the stuff and get it out there. So yeah. they have been immensely popular and okay. uh, out west so far and in the states where they're doing them, where some of the dealers are selling tens of thousands of these every single month into the local communities. Mm -hmm. And of course, you go on the Goldback website and you can find things that, uh, businesses that will accept Goldbacks. Yes. So, you know, one, for example, in Cheyenne, there's a chiropractor and some restaurants. Ah, you can walk into any of those places and you can use a combination of Goldbacks and cash to make a transaction. And they just, you know, you'll go to the website, you put a calculation in for what the total is, uh -huh. and it'll tell you how many Goldbacks and how much cash. That's wild. So you just sit there and look at an app for two seconds and you can figure out what you're owed for the transaction. Mm -hmm. So it's exciting. Yeah. Uh, so there's a, it, it's catching on and uh, we hope that it keeps catching on. And yeah. Every day, as more people get educated about it and more people know about it, uh, they're there. Well, David, so, I certainly appreciate the time. I see to my left, you've got customers showing up. No problem. I'm going to put your uh, contact info in my video description. Definitely. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Hey, special thank you to these channel members who support my efforts to bring you guys videos just like this one. And thank you for watching. Really appreciate your viewership. Now let me show you what I purchased. And hey, David made a very convincing argument for those gold bags, but you guys know me. I gravitated towards the silver and I bought these from him. Perhaps when gold bags are popular here in Indiana, I'll be more inclined to buy them. Not this time.